passionate about music. Time now to speak to a rugby legend, Debbie. We love him for his activism against bullying. We queue around the block for his calendars and we love him because he is Ben Cohen. Cohen. Welcome oh. back to Gaydar. Oh, that's a lovely intro. <laughs> Thank you. He's sexy and he doesn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really great to talk to you. We, 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 you. You came up in conversation because I think we must have seen something about your uh, stand-up campaign. It's a magazine uh, the magazine that was being launched. That's right, yeah. And we thought we yeah, must catch right. up with you and find out uh, the latest how things are going because we spoke to you about a year ago, I think, didn't we? Yeah, it's been a while. Um, you know, it's been a magnificent 18 months, really, I have to say, you know, from, you know, retiring for a cause and setting up the foundation and, um, you know, the support's been overwhelming and, um, you know, it uh, really is, uh, you know, got some traction and it is really is making a difference and we've raised some great money um, to support organisations out there. So it's, um, you know, it's been a fantastic year, I have to say, and it's taken me on an incredible journey and uh, I've met some really inspiring people and, you uh, you know, I have to say that if it uh, if the support we've had, you know, it, uh, if it wasn't without that, we wouldn't be here today. So, um, so T- thank you for all your listeners who support the foundation and me. Tell us about the Stand Up Foundation, then. Yeah, so basically, with the foundation, we when we set it up, we didn't we didn't want to really sort of reinvent the wheel. We wanted to uh, to create something to support organisations out there, and um, so we wanted to unlock a new revenue, basically, and we wanted a social commerce, really. So. We wanted to sell a product to engage the consumers to support the cause, basically. And uh, we have um, we set up as a for-profit company and a non-profit uh, foundation and charity. So we sell a profit, uh, we sell a um, we sell a product, and the, the profit from the um, from the product goes into uh, the, the non-profit to support organisations. So we're self-sustaining. So we don't rely on grants. We give grants out. So um, it's a it's a great way of. Um, Sort of unlocking a new revenue to support these organisations who do real world work. Well, I'm on your website, StandUpFoundation.com, and there's some great little sayings on there. And I didn't realise that you started the world's first anti-bullying foundation. I didn't yeah, realise did. that. Yeah, I mean that was, uh, I mean we, and that was a big decision. You know, when when you, you know, I got offered a three year contract to, to stay playing on rugby, and I turned that down. And, and just, and I think it was a bit of a ballsy move, I have to say, but. Um, it is the world's first organisation of its kind, and um, you know it's a, it's um, it's very similar to um, the Lance Armstrong Livestrong. Despite what Lance Armstrong has done, the Livestrong brand's very strong. It's a great social commerce. Or Bono's Red, and um, you know it's the first of its kind in anti-bullying, and uh, it's working. You know it's it's fantastic. I mean it's uh, it's nice to trailblaze in some way, um, but um, you know you're. You're, you're always coming across new obstacles, you know, where if it's been tried and tested before, you can learn from someone else. But, you know, we're learning on the hoop as well. And, um, you know, over in the States and over in the UK now, it's really got some, um, you know, amazing traction and support. Did you make the right decision to quit rugby and go on and move to the the foundation work? Yeah, most definitely. I have to say that, you know, I, um, I, I had a fantastic rugby career. And, um, you know, I, uh, I achieved... The ultimate winning a World Cup, finally Come on, now, come on, the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, I know it seems a long time ago now. Um, but uh, you know, I had um, some personal tragedies, which everyone you know really knows about. When my my, my father got you know murdered protecting someone, and the knock on effect and that you know had on me was uh, was huge. And and um, to li- you know when I first come across that fan page of 37,000 people, you know, which is over 300,000 now, which is fantastic across our social networks. But you know, a lot of their stories are very similar to my own, and um, it was we shared we, we shared something similar. We suffered at the hands of other people, and, and so it's the right decision to have been made. And yes, I think so. And you know, the, the foundation is going from strength to strength, and the support's amazing. So um, you know, as it, as it goes now, yeah, it's, it's, it's just the right decision. <laughs> A, yeah, I think that's a yes, don't you? <laughs> Although there are, so, and the good news is, even though you're not playing professional rugby anymore, we, we'll, there's the calendar, but we'll get onto that in a second. There's a page on your website, and there's a photo of a baby elephant taking shelter underneath its parent. And it reads this, it's the most natural thing in the world to stand up for those who cannot yet stand up for themselves. You made me cry with that, Ben Cohen. You made I me know, cry. I know, it's a lovely picture, isn't yeah, it? It's it is stunning. a lovely picture. And it's a really and lovely that, and- Go on. Go on, sorry, I was going to say, it's a beautiful message as well. Yeah, and that's what we want to do, you know. We've got some amazing partners, and, and, and one of them is uh, Wicked the Musical, and we're, we're doing a uh, schools programme uh, that comes out for, for the next school year. 
And, um, you know, it is about affecting that bystander to the upstanders, you know, saying, well, hold on a minute, I might not know that person is getting bullied or treated unfairly, but I stand alongside them because I can make a difference in that individual's life. And, you know, it's it's amazing what the effect of bullying has on, on, on people, you know, the low self-esteem and, and what that can, you know, low self-worth and what that can lead to. It can be very tragic in the end. And, um, you know, we want, we want, want people to... To, to have confidence in themselves and want other people to try and help other people who haven't got that confidence or self-belief in themselves and, and by standing up for them it makes a massive difference and, and, and it could it could be at that turning point where people are thinking I've had enough and um, they don't really have anyone to turn into or in towards to or outwards to so for support and somebody else's actions can mean so much you know there's something incredible that you do, which we adore. We've got to talk the calendar. Oh, yes. We've got to talk the calendar. Yeah, t- take us through this year, the <laughs> oh. photo shoot for this year's calendar, Ben, because we love it. Yeah, I have to say that I uh, it's, uh, I dieted for about six months for that thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it still doesn't look any different now, quite out No, it does, but, Ben. Uh, I won't have that. I'm staring at you. I don't know which month <laughs> this is, but you are you are pushing up to... You're p- doing press-ups on two rugby balls in your pants. Uh, <laughs> what, now, Neil? Look, even I'm aroused. Yeah, I know. Look and at that. That says a lot. That a lot. Uh, well, that's it. You know, it was... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it's something we do again. It, it raises good money and awareness, and, and it shows, you know, that I've come to it myself. I'm not, and I, I have to say that you know, I, I wouldn't say I was a, a class A model or calendar guy, but um, you are an yeah, we are. Yeah, we queue around uh, the block for this, you know. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, but you know it, it, it goes really well, and the support's amazing, and and, and that and that's what it's about. It's about raising money and awareness, and um, that's one way we do it. And there is an argument of that if we're an anti-bullying organisation, one with taking my top off. But you know, it's um, you know we're trying to be a bit broader than that. You know, it's a way to engage. You know, people to help buy products and uh, and support these amazing causes out there. I know and it's I on it's on a lot of people's wish lists, isn't it? The Ben Cohen calendar. A lot of people <laughs> put that down. My friend Anthony has he keeps your old ones as well. No, no I don't want to freak you out. But he keeps oh, your no, old ones. <laughs> Yeah. Last time we spoke to you, you were, you were in the shower. Do you remember that? You were in the shower. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My second one of the day. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> it. And we were talking about you. You pictured your that beautiful dog of yours in the calendar. Does your dog make an appearance this year? No, because we filmed that. We actually filmed it, and I didn't realise they'd filmed it. That's how aware I was. <laughs> so they filmed it, and we and we um, did the photo shoot in a in a in this factory in Chicago in in last April. And um, it was bloody freezing. <laughs> I remember that. And uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, obviously, I can't take Rono to, to Chicago, but uh, it was uh, it was done in, in, in a factory. But we yeah, we have our uh, we have our own underwear line, and that one that um, with, with Blue Book, um, and they put, we partnership with them to sell underwear. But that that was a, the the ad, the one on the rugby ball um, doing a press up, yeah. and um, and that was done at the very end of a forage of a long day and uh, a long two days. And it ended up being one of the sort of the best shots yeah. of, of, of the of the weekend. But um, it was, it was uh, a long two days, but it was uh, it was an experience, I have to say. If, if it was that if it was that cold though, Ben, did you have to have a fluffer? Neil, <laughs> you always need a fluffer. Oh my God. <laughs> Lucky fluffer. That's all I'm going to say. Could I ask you then for for your for your animal fans as well? Because we love our animals and we especially love your dog. Can you do a special one for Gaydar just from your phone and just tweet it out, Ben with his dog, please? Yeah, yeah. yeah Rolo's about somewhere. Yeah. I don't know where. I don't know where he is. He's. Uh, I think he's at the stables. Oh. Um, we got we got some horses and and uh, he goes up there with my wife. Goes up to to sort a horse out. Um, so no, he's not in the house. He's uh, next he's time. Ne- next time yeah. he's in, you grab a pick. Listen, Ben, it's always do. always good to talk to you. Can, if anybody wants to find out more about the foundation, where should they go? Go to standupfoundation dot com, and, and it, we, I mean we've got over one hundred and twenty products on there, and it's, it, we're putting more on every uh, every week, and they're all Nike products, which is fantastic. And um, they've got our stand up brand on that, and uh, yeah, go there, look for look to buy something, look to see where we're giving our grants out. Um, so, the people who we've supported and um, yeah read up on what we've done you can uh, we, literally wear your that. heart on your sleeve can't yeah. you because yeah. we like lo- we love the foundation ben we really do oh thank you yeah i mean again it's something that you know when i 
when I played rugby, I, I, you, know, you have to play you know, full emotion and, and work, sort of wear your heart and sleep. And, and it is, you know, this is something that, you know, is very close to my heart and something I gave up a, a lot to do. And, you know, and so the support's been amazing and, um, you know, it's going for strength to strength. Well, Neil and I, we both said this, we think your father would be so proud of you, Ben, what all you've done. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I mean, I did, you know, I, Christ, you know, I used that anger and pain that I had for a, for a positive and I used that to, to win a World Cup and, and um, you know, try and become one of the best winners in the world, which I did achieve. But, um, and, and to, you know, with the foundation, my dream of it is, you know, is to, to make it, the, you know, the, the biggest contribution to LGBT causes, LGBT causes and anti-bullying causes, you know, globally. And we are on our way to that. You know, we, have some fantastic, uh, we have some fantastic partners. Ben Cohen, you are an inspiration. Thank you once again for talking to Gator. I really appreciate it. No worries, guys. Thanks for having me on. Passionate about music.